Can you tell how excited I am that tails here? Okay, as we wind down summer, there are still a few weeks to get some grilling in. And if you're ready to take it to the next level, Chef Dale Taldi is schooling us on how to master the grill in his new Taste Made series, All Up in My Grill. Take a look. <laughs> when you think of grilling, most people think of large pieces of meat. And I'm going to show you that a grill just isn't a grill. It's an outdoor kitchen. You can make fine dining, upscale, three-star meals, fancy stuff to impress your in-laws, or new ways to do the same old, same old. I'm Chef Dale Taldi, and I'm letting you all up in my grill. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and of course, Dale joins us now. Welcome, friend. It's good to see yeah, you. Yeah, great to see you, too. Listen, nice to I, me. I love the concept of this show. How did it come about? So, you know, we really wanted to show, the one, the versatility. We yeah. wanted to inspire. You know, everyone loves cooking shows that are like competitions now, but what happened to those shows that inspire you yes. to make dinner and turn like a normal Tuesday dinner into something special? Yeah, and I mean, like, I love that you show how grills can are meant for more than just obviously hot dogs and, and burgers, which of course show up on the show, but um, other things make appearances too. Um, what are some of the tricks when cooking on a grill? Yeah, I think, what people need to break out of their head is that it's not um, that a, a grill or your outdoor grill is just um, an extension of your kitchen. Right. Right. It's just yeah. it's another tool. It's another thing to utilize. So set up your grill the way you would set up your kitchen. You know, have your utensils out. Those crazy big tongs, those crazy big spatulas. Get rid of those because you don't know, use right? them inside. I never use those. No, it doesn't. Yeah. It never works. So um, treat it like you are treating cooking inside, except you're probably have a frosty beverage and you're outdoors. <laughs> yeah, and when it's in the summertime too, I know it's hot outside to be near a grill, but you're not heating up your house in the kitchen, so I like taking it outside. It's a little moment of serenity, right? You're outside, yeah. you're doing something and you're away from the family, you're kind of zoned in and zen out on a grill. Yeah, well you brought some of the dishes from tonight's finale, so I, I know you hooked me <laughs> up here, Dale, what do we My have? Uh, you know, we, we did um, a Spicy miso grilled asparagus. Um, I love lobster boils. I think that, um, you know, so it's clams, it's shrimp. It's done in this um, exo miso, which is this beautiful kind of Chinese um, uh, condiment with a little bit of dashi and some butter and, you know, potatoes, all the general um, things you would have in a clam bake. But yes. lots of times the broth isn't utilized. So I, I, we put it in a yeah. mug to dip your uh, garlic bread into. I mean, like, I can't wait for this to be over, but <laughs> I can't wait to dig in. But you basically cook everything on the show, from fancy stuff to brunches to Taco Tuesday to, to pancakes. Um, what is What have you gotten the most feedback on? You know, I, not, I guess not oddly enough, but we did a whole episode dedicated to chicken. And I know it's a, a, um, a staple in everyone's repertoire for dinner. So, every, you know, we did a whole chicken marinated in yogurt and hot sauce and um, some spices, and people said... It, they, I think they just saw it and were like, that looks delicious. Yeah. And, um, you know, they wanted a recipe for that, and they got it on the show. Yeah, because so many people eat, you know, it's like people that are picky chicken and, you know. It's such an everyday thing. vegetarians and, yeah. you know, everything else. But I am so excited, most of all, that Goose Feather is opening back up yes, in Terrytown. Um, it's opening tomorrow, I think. Yeah, what absolutely. What can people expect? Because you're doing some exciting new things there, too, right? Yeah, you know, we are um, we have an outdoor, a cool outdoor lawn that we'll be launching um, maybe not this week, but ne next week when weather permits. Um, you know, we have more seats outside. We've added some cool lighting, um, a whole new... Uh, menu really focused on late summer stuff so oh. tons of veggies which for me um Hi, you have to highlight it when you can get it because soon enough it's going to be butter and squash and um, and root vegetables. I know, don't say this, <laughs> don't say it. Um, but you know what? Just tell us, you know, for those who haven't been able to visit yet, what the kind of the inspiration behind the cuisine is. Sure. Yeah, we are a seasonal um, Cantonese uh, Cantonese restaurant that's really focused on kind of Hong Kong and um, noodles, barbecue, and dumplings. But we've expanded it to kind of like. Um, whatever we're feeling to cook that day. And, yeah. um, you know, you'll see a lot of things that are very Dale Taldi on the menu. Well, I am excited about that because I love everything about Dale Taldi. And you can tune into the season one finale of All Up In My Grill tonight at 7 p.m. on Tastemade. And for info on Goose Feather, head to Dale's Instagram. Dale, good to see you. Good to see you, Sarah. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.